Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. <laughs> so, um, I was very naughty this week. I bought something very special again. And um, I have sold a lot of the bags that I did reviews on in my previous videos. So, I, I, when I bought those bags, I had no intention of selling them. And I realized that my bag taste changes a lot. But I think the bag I'm going to reveal today, I'm going to keep for the rest of my life. I, I really love it. I have no doubts about it. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited to re reveal it to you guys. Um, if you haven't, um, you know, watched my channel before, um, yeah, thanks for clicking on this video. And um, yeah, I talk about like fashion and bags a lot. So mainly Chanel and Louis Vuitton. But I purchased this from the boutique um, the other day. Now this was a massive splurge for me. I did work my ass off for this and I sold a lot of bags as well. So yeah, it, it is a big expense. So, you know, this is not something that I, I would do every day. In fact, I would probably, you know, I, I don't know if I'll do this again. So uh, this is very special to me. I already unboxed it. So I, I kind of like, this is a fake unboxing, but you know, it usually comes with like a ribbon and a camellia on the front and it will come with a booklet and um, you know a little dust bag so I'm just gonna show you what I put because <laughs> you're probably like eager to see and I love sharing stuff with you guys um, and I'm not trying to brag about this or anything but I just thought you would enjoy this video because I love watching unboxing videos so um, yeah, some beautiful Chanel tissue paper here. Um, on the tissue paper, there's little mini Chanel's all over it. And this was obviously wrapped a lot nicer before, but um, I've just put it together again for effect. But it was it was looking much nicer before. Um, so, and the nice thing about Chanel's packaging is well, they do the little pleats and all that. So it's a white dust bag. So it's either a 2.55 or a classic flap. So you guys can guess before I show you. Um, uh, so it had felts on it, but I just took off the felts because, you know, it does kind of covers up the bag. But this is the dust bag. Um, and yeah, here's the bag. So it's a... A small classic flap in the yellow color so this is from the 20s collection um, so I, I thought it was a really cute color it's like a little kind of a shooting star or like a lemon or like a cupcake I feel the color it's just very cute it's got a slight citrusy undertone to it like citrine or something um, it's a very unique color I would say um, not everyone's cup of tea but I think it really suits the small classic flap size and I didn't really want a black classic flap yet. Um, I already have a black rectangle mini and a black backpack so I thought this colour would complement my collection very nicely and I've always wanted the small classic flap so yes <laughs> that is all my justification for this bag. Um, and yeah, the, it's got champagne gold hardware and um, the serial number starts with 30. So it's a very new bag. Um, and I don't know if you can see the caviar is slightly shiny, but it's not iridescent and it's not matte. And the grain is quite fine. Um, and I noticed it was quite similar, the finish of it, to my uh, 2018 Square Mini as well. Um, so yeah, it's got a similar kind of shine to it. Um, I would say this one is slightly shinier, but this is not really like a matte finish. Um, and compared to, this is an oldest one, but this is the medium size. Um, it is a bit smaller. Um, if you count across, um, the diamonds are seven diamonds. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whereas with the pink one, there is eight diamonds across so the the pink one can fit a little bit more but I just thought the small size was super cute and um, it's made in France <laughs> so that's nice and I can wear it on my shoulder I think that looks probably really cute I wear a lot of my bags on my shoulder I find it the most comfortable and also I don't have to worry about it rubbing on my jeans like color transfer and whatnot so I'll probably wear it like this 
I think that's very cute. Oh, like that. Um, but you could probably also style it crossbody if you really wanted to, because it's the small size, it kind of doesn't look as crazy on me. Um, so you could wear it like that too if you liked. And I just think the colour is super cute, so um, I think it will work really nicely with a lot of my neutral outfits. And one of my friends says it kind of reminds them of the new Bottega Veneta bags that are coming out in that like yellow colour. So I'm gonna look, I had a little look at the Bottega Veneta website and saw how they styled this yellow, and they do style it with like mainly neutral colours and like even browns and um, grey, but I think it will work with like pinks and things as well. So yeah that's my new bag um the small classic flap um and i thought i'd show you what fits inside so i've got this little red mini square packed so i'm gonna like show you what fits in the small classic flap so because this bag it looks a lot bigger than the um the, the minis but because it has the double flap it does kind of you know it's deceiving how much can fit in here but it fits an okay amount so in my square mini i have packed my key clay my little hand cream um a card holder a lipstick and a phone a phone <laughs> so if i try and transport some of those items and more over to my my other one i'll see how i go so i'm gonna put in my my phone um, my card holder, key thingy, my little egg, a uh, lipstick, and that all fits really nice, but I still have some space on the top, so I might try and fit some sunglasses as well in a soft case. So these are just my, they're a bit thicker, they're like Versace sunglasses. So I'm going to try and just pop that on the top because that wouldn't have fitted in my um, my mini square. And yeah, that, that fits okay. So that gives me a little bit more room to play with, with the small flap. Now the small flaps are a lot more expensive than the, the minis, but um, yeah, it just gives a different look, I guess. Um, and yeah, this is the color compared to my other, this is my 2.55 um, mini reissue. And you can get um, these this season as well with the 20A collection, the Mattia Da. I've seen the rainbow mini reissue and um, also like hot pink and some metallic colors. So yeah, I might do a little review on my 2.55 again, just in case you were thinking of purchasing one this season. But yeah, and then um, I noticed that like, Lindy SS who makes those pom-poms she has like a small pink iridescent classic flap and she styles it with her pom-pom so I just wanted to see what a pom-pom would look like on this just for the the fun of it so I got one of her Lindy's pom-poms and it looks kind of cute it's a bit more like fairy tale princess like but I don't know if I'd wear it like this but I just thought I'd show you for the video in case you were wondering um, yeah, so this leather is not as iridescent as the 20S collection, but I do like the colours that came out with this season. There was another bubblegum pink and there was also a blue colour, so, and a, a really cool purple as well. It was like an awesome purple colour, but I'm really happy that I got the yellow and I don't really have anything like this so <laughs> anyway um what do you guys think um is there a chanel bag that you're looking for or that you are eyeing off in the matia da collection um let me know and i'll see you next time thanks for watching Bye bye <laughs>